Well, the publisher, I think, and, and I would agree, uh, find that if we come to a place like Rome, we have a terrific turnout. And, uh, you know, we're thrilled and we, we just have great response. And a lot of the support that I had when I ran for president was from communities like Rome. So uh, it makes a lot of sense for us to, to come and bring the book tour here. And frankly, I think our biggest turnouts have often been in uh, communities like Rome. Well, the simple government is really taking a look at all the problems we face in the country and applying a common sense constitutional approach. The original constitution was 20 pages. Obamacare was 2,300 pages. So what I want to just express to the uh, reader is that a lot of the problems seem complicated, but the honest answer to fixing them is really pretty simple. I think a lot of it will be on jobs and how to create the kind of economic climate that will bring jobs back. And frankly, I think everything that uh, President Obama is doing is taking that possibility away. You can't create a good business climate if businesses don't know what their cost of doing business is. And the cost of doing business is not just taxes. It's the cost of regulation. It's the cost of competition. It's the uh, it's really how well the dollar, how strong the dollar is, or how weak, uh, whether there is panic in the economy. All those are parts of the business climate. I'm just convinced he doesn't have seemingly any understanding of how that works. Well, for one thing, I would let businesses know that we're not going to put new regulations or taxes on them during an economic downturn because that's counterintuitive to building the economy back. I find ways to make sure that China abides by the trade agreements because we've lost a lot of jobs in America, particularly manufacturing, because we've not enforced our end of trade agreements. And they've dumped products on top of the U.S. Uh, under pricing the raw materials. It's not fair. It's not right. And it's meant that a lot of folks' jobs have gone to overseas. I think we've also got to uh, repeal Obamacare. It's, it's going to be very costly to small businesses. And then do a real legitimate health care reform, which is not about simply coverage, but about changing the system. And I talk about that in the book uh, from an interventive to a prevention-based uh, approach. Oh, he is the nicest man you would ever meet. He is so genuine, so presidential. I mean, he is, he's the epitome of what America needs for a president. And I'm so hoping that he will run for president in 2012. Oh, I love Mike Huckabee. I've been following him ever since the 08 primaries on the Huck Pack, and I've supported him through different blogs, and just uh, his principles are the same as mine, and hopefully he will run, and if he does, I'll support him again. Well, I've loved Mike for a long time. Um, ever since he first announced the Meet the Press back in 2007, I knew he was a guy that I wanted to be president. He carries my values. I think he's the only guy who can put America back in the, back in the place that it used to be. I thought he was very nice. He was very personable. I mean, actually took a little bit of time with everybody. Um, you know, he's gotten two samples. <laughs> yeah, I think he will. I mean, I think you're going to see probably a Newt and um, Gingers running. I think you're probably going to see Temple Any. And I think, you know, Huckabee's probably going to be a good choice to be on the top ticket. I'm but hoping I, he will. I would like to see him do it. We'd love to see him make we it. We would like to see him do yeah, it. Yeah, I'd like to see him run, yeah. yeah. We really would. I wouldn't be standing in line all this time for somebody that I don't want to run for president. No. He's a I voted guy. on him in the net last election when he won the primary. My decision will come sometime this summer. So I'm going to let Newt go out there first and... Uh, swim in the water and tell me how it is. Well. Dude, it's a good friend. Uh, in fact, he and I had breakfast together in New York last Saturday, and uh, we remain good friends and will be no matter what.